At 10 years old, I knew that I wanted to be a radio personality. But it took a long time to get there. I mean, almost 30 years later. The YMCA has evolved, yet has kept the tradition. And that's what I like about it. And I was down there today to the Doverport YMCA visiting, and it just felt like going home. Young people need drop-in centers, places where they can go and enjoy a positive environment where there's mentorship, where there's leadership, where there's great role models. I firmly believe that the mental and the physical should merge together, it makes you a better person, a stronger person. If it wasn't for the YMCA, we would have never did what we did. It was just a wonderful place to be. I think you've got to create a positive environment, even in the face of negativity. And the spider's web, and we're here now, is it's a dream of mine come true. What we do in here a lot is teach young people how to achieve. I had a learning disability. I failed grade three and grade four. So when they put me in a remedial grade five, I stayed there till I was 15 years old. They didn't know it, but I was already involved in gang life. It wasn't a crew, it was a gang, and I was the youngest member. From then on till I was about 24 years old, I was in and out of prison. About two months after I come out of prison, I met the most famous man in the world. And that's when my life really began to change. And his name was Muhammad Ali. I remember sharing with him one day that I, I, I was, uh, really interested in becoming a radio broadcaster. And he said to me, the only way you're gonna make it in that career you're looking at is by going after it. He said, when I first started boxing, people laughed at me. He said, I fought like a girl. For many years, I didn't feel I was worth my dream. That's what took me so long to get there. Ali became my metaphor for life. You don't need other people's approval. You don't need them to believe in you. You need to believe in yourself. What I want to do is create an environment for these children so that they can have a level playing field, so that they can have opportunities the same as anyone else. That's all you can ask. And that's what the Spider's Web does. Because one of the things that I, I have learned uh, from my 20 years now as a motivational speaker and working with young people is you've got to get them before the streets do, especially youth at risk. One of, one of my, my lines I always use when I speak to young people, I call it a spiderism. And it's, it's not where you come from, it's where you're going that counts. Life hands you fate. Destiny is what you do with it.